But the family unit is the basic unit where there must be a daily contact that makes for continuity of spirituality. Many of you remember this is how we were raised though. Night prayers or morning prayers or both. A time when they share the truth. Now you have children reproduce that same result. Don't just give them secular education alone. You must connect them to the God that lifted you to this level. They should not know book alone. They must know God in the beginning. God. We live in a world today where when a child is educated, master's PhD, no matter how deprived he is spiritually, we say it's all right. It's just that he doesn't know God, but he's a very serious person. What is our yardstick of seriousness? In one day, the powers of darkness can sweep that destiny. Welcome to a Saturday in my home, mommy girl. <laughs> Roro mommy. Hold on, let me adjust this. this I don't know this uh, queen ribbon. Hold on, just the this. <laughs> but hey guys, how you guys doing? You guys, it's a beautiful Saturday, and as you can see, I am making special akara for my family. Oh yeah, kind of your face <laughs> i'm making special akara this morning for my family and you could see where we're just washing the beans and now <laughs> you guys royalty is a camera friendly baby <laughs> look at her smiling and then you guys yeah i'm bad grandma and as you they'll be heading to the market right now so they can actually go and blend then myself and roro mommy we're gonna be in the house and yeah when they get back i will just get into frying up the akara mommy girl like she has a lot to say to you people <laughs> but anyways guys yep i'm just going to be soaking it in enjoying my baby snuggle every 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 until they get back and i just head back into the kitchen this so yeah you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog don't forget to smash the subscribe button this is bomsi reporting live from lagos nigeria latest mommy of two <laughs> Can you come and stay with mommy now? I don't know. Come and stay with mommy. <laughs>
guys i know that this video was actually all over the place like this vlog was actually all over the place it was during the course of this vlog that we received the call that uzo had actually put to bed so i was just scattered in fact i was overjoyed to be very honest which i don't know when you guys are actually going to see this vlog but i know that i'm actually going to put it together i'm going to find a sequence to put it together because the vlog was actually following a sequence and i like to follow a sequence before i get to the end but the vlog was actually following a sequence until i received the call that you know my girl had put to bed and i was just all over the place you could even see me making jello fries because everybody that came to my house that day like literally i served everybody jollof fries and i don't know what i was making a big pot of jollof fries for but i just found myself making big pot of jollof fries and just being in a place of merriment and then just sharing food but yeah you guys right before i actually you know end this video i just want to have like a sit down and honest chit chat with us parents and these are the conversations that i've had with my friends i feel like now we're in a place of you know betting children being parents to children and all of those things but times have changed from our parents times to be very honest with you i mean our parents style of parenting if we implement it in this particular time of parenting it just might not work it just might work but i know that the amount of things that you know i would take from my parents time to actually implement in this particular time because uh, of course there's no debate about it my children will know god but aside all of those things you know sometimes we always tend to say i drop it at the feet of christ i drop it at the feet of christ without even being intentional about these things but these are conversations that i've had with my friends and I, I also you know myself and my husband we have these deep conversations it is time for parenting i know that most of us right our productivities and our phone and social media app these days and it tends to be huge distraction because i came across like a survey you know where i saw where you know they asked children what would you expect from your parents and all of that and i saw like six seven year old were saying that you know i'll expect my parents to drop their phones and give more attention to me and then another one was already also saying that sometimes when i told transoms and i disrespect you it's just that i'm trying to get your attention you know i'm not doing these things on purpose or i intend for you to shout for me and i said yes because our productivity these days are on our phone and to be very honest with you this video i'm shooting right now is on my phone i'm actually going to also edit on my phone it's going to take like a huge amount of my time you know most of us we have our businesses on social media apps these days not like you know carry our children and go to our shops and then we'll sell with them and you know teach them all of these things these days everything has been transmitted through phones you know and these things if you use an iphone and you check your productivity in a day you will feel so bad for yourself because you will, you will realize the amount amount of time you have spent on your phone right so this brings me just to say that i feel like we parents you know we have to draw the caution and be more intentional with our children to be very honest with you I know yes you know money needs to be made and all of these things and whatnot I actually came across a reading that even prompted me to say i was going to have this conversation with us you know when i mean parents i don't mean just mother because it takes two to raise a child but also shout out to the single mothers that are watching me as well i hope you actually pick a thing or two from what i'm saying in this video so the woman was talking about what they call it you know bringing her relations you know she herself and her husband they are in the medical field they are both doctors and they brought in what they call it their relations a boy and a girl to actually stay with them you know it's a thing with nigeria when we find help we have helps and all of these things and then we just feel relaxed you know let's go on and chase this money why people at home we really want to raise our children and take care of our children some and not all you know and then not knowing that these people actually introduce their children to pornography right and you know being in the medical field sometimes you work all day and then you come back exhausted i'm going to look for a way to put that story here one way or the other you know and then is a story from a 78 78 year old woman and then you're probably just exhausted and then you just want to lay your head because of course your body is not your body has worked over time being in the medical field i just want to rest and the son came to her you know i was telling her that mommy why don't you kiss me you only kiss daddy and no 
you know but she just thought that maybe he had picked it up from school or something and you know sent him back to school for them to discipline him and all not knowing that you're supposed to pick when your child comes to come and tell you something like that you're supposed to act like what did you where did you hear that from you know or is it that you see me and daddy kissing or what, what did you you know just be inquisitive and just get to know you know but rather you know this lady was saying that she took the baby to school and then they disciplined the baby so that created like a wall and the child never used to come to tell her certain things until they grew up and she realized that these her relations that she brought to actually live in the house was practicing like sexual intercourse with the children and whatnot and realized that you know they have grown up and him and his sister because she had two children now practice these things with themselves like they have even done what they call it i don't want to use such language but i will see how i can actually share the story on my screen and for you guys to actually read it so i'm just saying that you know this time and age is not the time to relax and just press phone this time and age is a time for intentional parenting intentional 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 parenting i know that you know see to be very honest with you i will tell you for for, for a fact sometimes i will be lost pressing my phone what am i searching i'm reading news i'm replying to people or whatnot and this one and that one and that one i am guilty of these things you know sometimes in as much as i'm i'm such an intentional person with my children but i am guilty of this you know phone guilty pleasure i just want to press my phone i just want but i just feel like when you come into a place of parenthood parenthood is sacrifice sacrificing not just you know what they call it maybe your body to bet these children your finances and whatnot it's sacrificing your time sacrificing a whole lot so i'm just coming here to just urge us parents you know let's just be intentional see this generation <laughs> if you don't train up your child very well <laughs> if you do not train up your child very well to be very honest with you let's just train our children very well that's what i intend to actually say you know let's also you know sometimes drop phone aside and spend quality time with them yes we always talk about in marriages that our, our love language is quality time i know you these children especially as they are little toddlers and infant like this their love language if you realize they like attention they want you to be in their presence 247 in fact amber has gotten to the place where he has he knows that this particular thing is red but he's always asking me question what it is what it is what it is what it is and i have to keep answering and answer if you don't answer him it's problem so i'm just saying that you know it's intentional parenting 2023 and beyond let's just be intentional parents just realize that in all i've been saying i've not been saying intentional motherhood or intentional fatherhood it has been intentional parenting but i'll also shout out to my single fathers and single mothers you know let us actually be intentional as well but anyways guys i've come to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video i most definitely will see you guys in my next video don't forget to smash the subscribe button and bye